Hey, how's it going? This is Mr. Hernandez, and I wanted to do a big picture kind of idea on the main differences between geometric and arithmetic sequences and what we call these tables and patterns and graphs. And so um, let me start with arithmetic sequences. So the pattern usually is when you add or subtract um, certain values, right? And so um, if we start with, let's say, 10 and we add 5, then we'll get 15, 20, 25, and so on. We could also even um, have a subtraction pattern where it's maybe let's start at 20 and let's subtract uh, 4. So 16, 12, 8, and so on. Now, um, when you take those uh, values and we put them in a graph, let me graph the first one. So it goes... Um, you know, let me make this, let me make these uh, 10. So that's 10, 20, 30, and so on. And then we'll keep this 1 and 2. So 1, 10 is here. 2, 15 would be here. 3, 20 would be here. And then 4, 25 would be here. And so when you have a, um, a pattern like this where you're adding, this creates a linear function or a linear graph um, now does that is that the same thing when you subtract well let's see um, so let me make this uh, by twos so this would be 20 and this would be by one still so one would be 20 two would be 16 so that's going to be here three would be 12 2 4 6 8 10 12 okay so this is 3, 12, and then 4 would be 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay. And you can see here that this also creates points that are would create a straight line, and that is still a linear function. It's a straight line where we would have, um, you know, y equals mx plus b. So, um, you know, you could basically have a table, um, you know, where you're subtracting a certain amount, which is the pattern, right? Or adding the certain amount. And um, from a graph, you could actually have a linear function, which is um, y equals mx plus b, where, um, you know, you, you could basically graph the y-intercept and the slope. But we're not going to talk about that yet. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to focus in on is the geometric. So... You know, geometric, um, the pattern is when you multiply by a certain number. So let's say I start with 2, and then I multiply it by, let's say, 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 times 3 is 54. And so that would be this pattern, times 3, times 3, where the... Um, the arithmetic sequence was adding and subtracting. Well, the geometric sequence is multiplying. And so what would we get if we put this on a graph? Well, um, so we have to fit 54, which is, um, you know, quite, quite a lot. Uh, let's just graph from, uh, let me see. Let's just go with, let's go by twos. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18. All right, this is graph three points. So this is uh, 1, 2 is here. 2, 6 is going to be 2, 4, 6 right here. And then 3, 18 is going to be right here. So notice we just ran out of space. Um, and so here, what you end up getting, you don't get a, a linear. You don't get a linear function. What you end up getting is this curve going, and you can imagine it's just going to skyrocket. But when we graph this, you'll end up seeing that it kind of starts off really, really low and um, generally climbs up here all the way to, and then it skyrockets. And so this will be known, this graph, as an exponential function. Exponential function. So this actually will be um, not a line. And so this exponential function will be uh, represented as something like this, where the x is in the exponential part. 
Um, but yeah, now we can look back and see the similarities and differences. Well, the patterns, you know, there's always a pattern with arithmetic and geometric. The only difference is arithmetic is adding and subtracting. Geometric is multiplying. You could, of course, multiply by a fraction, then that would get smaller numbers. But notice how quickly the geometric um, grows, you know, which is the, the... So you could see that growth in an exponential function um, where it just skyrockets, um, whereas the um, arithmetic sequences, this pattern, adding or subtracting the growth or, you know, decay, it happens very, very constant. It's a constant, you know, growing by a certain amount, adding by a certain amount. Where an exponential function, it's not a certain amount. It actually grows faster and faster and faster. And so uh, linear, uh, so when you think of ar arithmetic sequence, that's a linear function or a straight line, which is y equals mx plus b in slope-intercept form. And then a geometric sequence is an exponential function, which is given by, um, you know, this y equals a times b to the x. And so um, the x is in the exponent. That's why it's called an exponential function. Okay, so that is um, the main difference that I want to highlight is uh, arithmetic, linear, you got this line equation here, and then geometric is exponential, and then we're going to be focusing on this type of equation. All right.